The teddy bear, the teddy bear is the toy still popular today, widely popular today. It didn't come into existence, however, until the early part of the 20th century. So um, this segment was meant to introduce the topic to the audience and um, also engage the audience in referencing the teddy bear in which many people can understand that reference. The town of President Roosevelt in 1902, uh, an avid hunter, was out on a hunting expedition. He had been invited to hunt in Mississippi by the governor of the state. The um, this segment is to introduce a new idea of um, introducing the president and him going on a hunting um, expedition. And this is kind of uh, beginning to where you can compare um, the bears of um, in the wild to uh, the actual teddy bear that people know. The party was out in the, uh, the woods of Mississippi, and several members of the hunting party went ahead. They came upon an American black bear. They were able to wrangle the bear and tie the bear up to a tree. I think this segment kind of contains some yeah, lists of um, setting up the uh, scene and the different parties involved in the situation of the president going to hunt for the teddy bear. The president the rest of the hunting party and asked him to come and have the honor of shooting the bear. Well, President Roosevelt refused. He felt it was unsportsmanlike, and uh, he walked away. Uh, um, this is setting up the um, the idea of the bear being or tied to a tree and the president refusing to shoot him. So um, maybe that's comparing um, his softer side and um, setting up why um, the teddy bear is being compared to him not wanting to shoot the bear. He did ask that the bear be put out of his misery as it had already been a political cartoon is in the Washington Post that went the story and uh, created a cartoon that made from the president. Um, this is introducing a new idea of the newspaper coming up with a political cartoon about the president um, lambasting him for maybe being too gentle and not wanting to kill the bear that had been tied to a tree, um, maybe kind of making fun of him a little bit. Yeah. The story began to spread, and a candy store owner in New York City, hearing about it, crafted a stuffed bear. He figured if he put it in his window, it might draw customers into his candy store. He had written to the White House asking if he could use the name Teddy Bear, and it was agreed that he could. Well, many customers did come into a store for candy, but they wanted one of these bears. And then what? Um, this is also setting up a new idea of a candy store owner that um, had wanted to sell the bears in his store. Um, it kind of relates to the cartoon because the cartoon was so popular that uh, many people had heard about it. So maybe the candy store owner thought he would, um, you know, uh, embark on making some money off of this idea because it was so popular right then with um, the political cartoon being out there. And so he and his wife forming the ideal novelty and toy company. At about the same time, a German company, hearing about the story, began crafting their own stuffed bears as well. Um, this is comparing the two um, uh, toy owners in that it, the um, teddy bear had become so popular that even an overseas company um, was introduced into this um, new exploding boom of teddy bears <laughs> that everyone just had to have one so badly. Um, by 1906, four years after the incident, the teddy bear had become so popular not just with, with children at the time, but American women began to carry stuffed bears around with them. It was such a beloved toy and object. And again, as we know, it is rare to meet someone who doesn't have a story about the teddy bear from their own past or even today. Um, this last segment um, relates to how um, popular the teddy bear had become, that uh, even an overseas toy company had begun producing them, and um, they were so popular that women started carrying them around with them, and um, it wraps it up at the end by saying how 
even um, everyone everyone that you might come across would have a story of a teddy bear that they had loved.